Ooh, Town and City, interesting. All right. So we're in game one between Jade and Circa 6WX. Who just runs straight past the Mecha Koopa. Double up air. Oh, bust out bust him out of the spin dash though. This is constant pressure from 6WX. That's something that he's kinda had to uh, to work work his mind around as of late. Whether he is gonna continue to be that aggressive Sonic or will he embrace the Wrath esque playstyle where things get a little bit more patient and a little bit more slow. Which really, I mean, it's nice to have a good combination of the two, but I feel like Sonic at a top level is that slow, uh, that slow, patient play. But I think in this case, playing aggressive is definitely working in his favor. Yeah, he's off to a decent start right now, though Jade does start to open up this lead just a touch. Yeah, Jade definitely has a lot of counter-attack replies, for sure. I mean, he, he ha you kind of have to. Bowser Jr. not the strongest of neutrals, so getting in can be a little bit difficult right now. Uh, just jumps in with a fair, though, does 6WX. There goes <laughs> Sonic with a spin dash. And he's definitely trying to find... And, and there goes a grab down throw. Jump off fair, or jump off spring. Yes, jump. Oh, but he manages to get past it. Does eat the down tilt on the process, though. Jade having a difficult time getting back on the stage. Oh my god, the, sh the hammer swing, but it's not going to be able to do it, and she falls to her death for that back air. I, I mean, I, I, I respect the attempt. Yeah, it's really unfortunate, because like if that had been in the opposite direction, that would have been a dead 6WX. But instead, it did try to go cross-court, and it's just not going to be able enough to do it at 90%. All right, so... 6WX definitely feels really confident. He's playing a lot more aggressive. He's taking a little bit more risks here and there. It's really interesting to see just how comfortable he is with Mecha Koopa, too. That's been several times now that Jade has dropped Mecha Koopa out, and 6WX has consistently grabbed it without any real danger. Once again, 4 for 4 right now. Just starting to put on this constant pressure, just adding ticky tack percents, leading up to maybe possibly a 2 stock at this point. Bowser Jr. is in a pretty bad spot right now. And even just for their positioning on the stage has been proven difficult. Like, that was a very strong back air that she just got, but the fact that she was from the opposite side of the stage wasn't able to do it, unlike the back air we saw just then. The Bowser Jr. and the Bowser Jr. Pain, in, uh, pain emotions are really funny to hear. Oh. <laughs> Down throw pressure off stage, fair, gonna have to up be back. Tries to knock her away, but will not have it. Threads the needle back. Goes for the unsafe dash attack on shield, though. Spin dash, nair, not quite, but 145% to zero. This is looking rough right now. Wow. Gonna see the down throw again. Not quite a sonic kill throw percents. More than happy to just attack on this percent. It's doing it 10% of the time, but that's gonna be enough to that's do it. Kill. Jumping in front of Sonic, sitting at the ledge, lurking, waiting for that back throw into the loving arms. Oops. And, oh, sorry. Oh, but um, the, the thing with Sonic is that you kind of have to be on his backside a lot. Right? Yeah, yeah, you do have to work around his shield quite a bit. Oh, yeah. she's Schrader now, coming up, giving a little bit of a couple of pointers. Yeah, because Schrader does play... Bowser Jr. as well, and he does it really well, Bowser Jr. too. Does he? Does yes, he? Yeah, yes, I, know yes. there's a f I know there's a few juniors around here. Now, Admiral Funk has got a Morton. Of course, Jade has uh, just regular Bowser Jr. Do you know uh, which or which variant he plays? Um, I can't remember. I think it's the default. Okay. I think it's default. Uh, but yeah, but he, he plays, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's just trying to give her some tips and reassurance on how to approach a Sonic for sure. Yeah, and it's a little bit difficult just from the age difference, too. I mean, Jade's still, I believe, a teenager, so you know, n maybe not quite used to this big stage feel because while she was able to beat Tweak at CEO, she did not make it out of pools, though. So it's still a little bit difficult to make that final jump sometimes. That's true. That's true. See, Battlefield is the second pick. Jumping down, starting with these jabs, trying to pressure Sonic in. And I think what Jade needs to do, I think she probably needs to not do moves that uh, commit too much because then of course it puts her into lag and Sonic is able to spin dash in 
and do whatever combos that he needs to do. Yeah, Bowser Jr. does have some pretty interesting movement, like ability, what with the clown cart and his own aerial speed. So I wouldn't be too surprised if she's able to play around the shield well. It's just getting these hits and these confirms in it just proves so difficult so far. And even right there when she's just doing the initial rapid jab, she's not really able to confirm anything out of it just because uh, 60X is constantly working around it. And I like how you mentioned Clown Card because in game one, she, she didn't really use it too much and now she's using it <gasps> a lot more often. <gasps> oh my god. That was so clean. Man, that's, that's the stuff of dreams right there. That's the stuff of dreams. That's the stuff you sit home in the lab and you're like, all right, this is what's going to happen if I get this. And in the biggest moment possible, she doesn't even come remotely close to dropping. It gets it perfectly. That was a jab reset into the clown cart up B, into the aerial hammer swing. Such huge damage. And but I'm pretty sure that shook up 6WX. I was going to say, despite that, 6WX still has a lead, though. So, you know, while it was very helpful, it wasn't enough to really cause any true danger. And that just the tip of the fair will knock her off the blast zones of the battlefield. But Jade seems to have a game plan going on. Yeah, we do see a similar mirror to game one where 6 uh, wx starts to take, you know, a little bit of percent, but she now starts to really put in work on this second stock. It's a good grab of the Mecha Koopa on the opposite side of the stage that we just saw of allows him to escape the forward smash that would have definitely sealed out that stock. Just that one jab to beat out the entry. 6 wx has yet to miss a Mecha Koopa grab. But just that match of familiarity can cause so many problems for Jade. <gasps> oh. The forward smash. Well then. Didn't didn't catch that. Didn't, that <laughs> what, what, didn't escape that. That I was mean, a beautiful forward smash. If the viewers can see our reactions to that. Just, wow. <laughs> so now Jade is able to close up the stock. Does initially break in. It gets 19% now. But will it be too little too late? Will will 6WX advance further on in this pool? Or will Jade be able to p produce a pivotal game three? Yeah, it's, like I said, I mean, like, ever since she started using Clown Cart more and she started being more mindful of her moves, she's actually cutting it pretty close here. Yeah, it's really, I mean, she was able to get those initial hits um, and hasn't touched him since, which has kind of been the unfortunate thing. Um, 6 new x has just been really in her face the entire time. Oh my god, an up smash. A smash attack of his own from that top platform to seal it out. 6 new x advances further into his pool. And Jade now will have to fight her way from loser's side. But still great stuff from both players. And of course, great stuff from Jade as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Proving that last year was not a fluke. Just still, still, still as strong as she was last year. Rocking the static shock hat too. I appreciate that. That's a throwback that I'd like to see come back on a national level. <laughs>